So hey guys, welcome back and today I'm going to talk about two topics of discrete mathematics, implications and by conditionals. So let's start with implications. Implications. So implication is a conditional statement basically, uh, meaning if uh, there is a statement P and there's another statement Q so uh, P will P satisfies then Q will happen so let's look at it uh, using a truth table so P Q P implication Q so remember this is the implication sign so this is really important <coughs> again so uh, let's continue with our truth table here so as there are two variables so there is going to be four rows here so uh, so p true true and false false so true true here and false false here so for implication uh, the results are going to be so true true is gonna be true true false is gonna be false false true is gonna be true and true yeah so let's explain this using an example so the example is the teacher said if you do good in your midterm exams then your final grades would be considered see so suppose this portion um, if you do good in your midterm exams so let's assume this is p and then your final grades would be considered okay so let's use a different color here so it's easier to understand um, so then your final grades would be considered so this is q right so <coughs> uh let's try to relate the example with uh, the truth table here so <coughs> you kept your promise you did good in your exams right so and the teacher was teacher did uh, consider so he kept his promise right so that's why it's true so let's mark it with green so the teacher kept his promise he gave you a good grade so thus the result is favorable to you thus true okay so you did good in your exams but the teacher didn't keep his promise so uh, the situation isn't favorable for you thus false <coughs> again so you didn't do good in your midterm exams but the teacher still gave you a good result right so you're not gonna complain why didn't you keep your promise you're gonna be happy with that so the situation is favorable for you thus true and finally you didn't keep your promise thus the teacher didn't consider you great so the result is true because you know what's going to happen right you already knew what the situation is going to be so uh, this is what the implication is now uh, we are going to talk about uh, by conditional so uh, try to remember this portion that uh, when you keep your promise but the teacher doesn't then the result that you would be getting is in in your favor thus thing uh, thus the situation being false so uh, let's move on to by conditionals here. Let's uh, think of P, uh, P being a statement and Q being another. So the by conditional sign is this, meaning that if P happens, uh, then Q would also happen. Um, let's look at this using a truth table. So P Q P by conditional Q. So there are going to be four rows here.
so when it's the both current statements are true so it's going to be true either one of us is false it's going to be false and both are false then it's going to be true so let's try to understand uh, this truth table using an example so in this example uh, we can see there are two conditions you finishing your dinner let's assume this is uh, P so let's assume this is P and uh, this portion that you get your desserts this is Q right <coughs> so now let's look at uh, the example uh, the truth table here <coughs> so you kept your promise right uh, you did finish your dinner thus your mom did give you the desserts so the condition the situation is in our favor thus true okay so you did finish your dinner but your mom didn't keep her promise thus the situation isn't in your favor as you're not getting the cake or ice cream okay now you didn't keep your promise you didn't uh, finish your dinner but you somehow uh, suppose stole the dessert from the fridge or someone else gave it to you it's not according to your mom's condition right your mom said if you take <coughs> if you finish your dinner then you're gonna get the desserts but you uh, got the desserts anyway by s uh, let's assume that uh, you stole the dessert from the fridge so a new mom caught you and she gave you a punishment so the condition isn't in your favor again so thus false and finally you didn't keep your promise you didn't finish your dinner and your mom thus didn't give you any dessert so you knew what the condition is going to be right you knew that if you didn't finish the dinner you're not gonna get the desserts so uh, the condition is what you expected thus being true uh, you might be thinking that this by conditional is similar to an XOR gate because in XOR the same thing happens so XOR and by conditionals are kind of the same uh, and uh, if you look at the differences in implications and by conditionals you would see that <coughs> In implications if you uh, I'm gonna use the dessert example again if you didn't keep your promise you can still have a chance of getting the desserts and the situation would be still in your favor the example uh, the row here in this truth table of the implications and in by conditionals uh, if you didn't keep your promise but still managed to get the desserts the situation the results wouldn't be in your favor as you're gonna get punished so that's the main difference between implications and biconditionals hope you guys liked uh, the video if you have any comments or suggestions uh, put them down below and thank you